Hello folks, welcome to Captain Dave Sport Fishing, which is also quality knife sharpening. And today we're going to take a look at something that took two months to get here. And I know it came from China, but then again, it says Compton, California. Because I guess it came to China, and then came to Compton, California, and then came to Jacksonville, Florida. So let's take a look. I ordered this two months ago. Two months ago. Undescript box. I didn't expect anything more than an undescript. Alright. Well, that's interesting. Because it comes with a tool. So that means it must be a China knife. They always are nicer than Americans. They always give you a tool. Not always, but most of the time. These sheaths are going around with all the China knives, which are pretty good for a China knife. I ordered this, believe it or not, off of Amazon. And you see what this is? This is a Glycon copy. And it literally was on Amazon. They didn't have many times that they let it sit up there. It's got oil all over it, which is nice. A Microtech Glycon, I believe is what it's referred to, kind of copy. And I mean, believe it or not, you can get this on DH Gate, you can get it on AliExpress, all those websites. And you can get it for like 40 bucks. I paid about 20 more because it was just on Amazon. You know, that's the big issue I have with going on to these Chinese websites is the fact that I don't want to give them my <laughs> credit card information, right? And the whole idea there, oh my God, that is tighter than Dick's hat band. Oh, oh, is that tight? Wow. I don't want to give them my, I don't want to use my credit card. None of them take PayPal. So you can go on a, a website called pr Privacy, but then you can set an amount that that will only work for that amount. If anybody's ever dealt with any of that, let put, the, put it in the comments what you're doing, because I talked to another guy, Arizona Lifestyles. He made a career here, it seemed like, at one point, doing nothing but ordering stuff off of DH Gate, which was all about knives, of course, OTFs. So here we go. Look at that, the side opening. I got this, and I hate these daggers. Feels pretty sharp. I hate these dagger blades. But I got it, just to pretty much see what the story is. I mean, that side button, pretty, pretty stiff. Very easy to do it with this, with the side button. I thought even when Microtech came out with this, it was kind of a real, I don't know, what, what would you call it? It was a real uh, gimmicky type thing. Oh boy. Very gimmicky. I believe you don't really need it. Put it on one side or the other, put it on the top, put it on the side, but this double sided, I don't think it's all that big a deal. Of course, it's very well constructed. It says M390 steel. <laughs> yeah, sure. This is sharp on this edge and this edge, and it feels pretty good. I'm feeling a little, no, I'm, I was trying to feel for a burr. But, um, and then it's got this jimping here, which is kind of cool, so you can bear down on it. Which I'm sure this is like D2, if not 7CR. I don't care what the steel is. I'm not going out and doing anything with this, even on my high dollar ones, higher dollar like my 
little favorite here, which is the Guardian Tactical Tactical uh, 025 GTX or something they call it with the brass side. I love the brass side. Um, the steel doesn't matter that much to me because just as, as an EDC, I'm not going out. I'm not caping out a, a moose head or I'm not doing anything fancy there. So this is just another, I kind of got it. And I said to myself, if I hate this thing, it'll be up for sale. So this is just the first look. Two months I'd say, no, maybe, I think it was in June I ordered this, and now it's August 2nd, so uh, literally right on Amazon themselves. Didn't have to go, hey, it was worth 20 bucks extra or whatever for me not to give away my stuff because I'm not set up to buy stuff from China. I don't. I'm not in using one of those privacy services. And the one I didn't like is that word literally was privacy.com or something where they want, they want your entire like password and everything to go on your, your banking or something. I was like, forget that noise. I don't trust them people either. So that's one thing that you got to keep to yourself, I believe. So, this just happened to pop up on Amazon. I've purchased other ones on Amazon, as, as you may well know. And the reason being is I just wanted to see, and I wanted to play, and I wanted to sharpen. I have since had two Microtech Ultratech clones. or I'm not going to call them clones. They're copies. This does not say Microtech anywhere on it. And either did my other ones. That would be a true clone. These are just copies. These are copies for the poor guy. Because this thing right here, I don't know, what is this? Glycon or whatever is $450 or something. I mean, I'm a bargain hunter. And I assume if you're watching this, you're a bargain hunter too. It literally says nothing on the box. I carry these in elastic along my belt in a scout carry. So um, there you go. Just a really very nice. I mean, you'd think that if it was coming, it's all it's all machined aluminum. Ooh, they're tight. Ooh, yeah. Ain't that something? They're tight. Hey, that's something, ain't it? I've got knives before that I go to uh, test it and they're like loose as hell. Somebody was drunk on sake that day. Um, I hate daggers. I hate daggers. I'm more of a drop point clip point kind of guy like that this is so much more edc just f more friendly of a knife style bl a blade style than this i guess yeah one one thing was is oh if it goes dull on this side well then you got this side and you can just switch i guess i'll see there it is that's a amazon believe it or not an Amazon from some dude in California, but it took two months to get here because, of course, it had to come from China or that guy. What was it? This person here, Jack May something. Stanley wrote Compton, California. Oh, uh, yeah, that's quite stabby. Let's do a paper test real quick. I'll use the heavy paper that everybody seems to use. I don't like using heavy paper. Okay. Ooh, 
man, is that for shit or what? Okay, there we go. Okay, now let's try the back side. The back side here. All right. Well, now let's go to my true paper test. This really thin northern tool catalog paper. You know, that's kind of an, they're kind of a step up from Harbor Freight. Uh, see, that's the problem with these daggers. These daggers just do not cut. They're made for stabbing. No, nope, that ain't going to do it. I mean, here's what the dagger's made for. That's it. In my book, that's all a dagger is good for. Is... Hoya! Oh, man, yeah, that is stiff, stiff. Hoya! That's what a dagger is good for. Other than that, that's it. If this thing... I know even Microtech, I believe they only make it in Dagger. I don't know. Call me crazy. I just don't like them. I'd rather have a nice, usable drop point. Come on.